Hello, hello, hello. I am Prophet Dr. Dana Reese, the Eagle Prophet Visionary. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you for watching this video and please click on the subscribe button down below so that you will receive future notifications of prophetic words that I will be releasing to you. And I speak peace and blessings to you in Jesus name. And I want to share with you a prophetic word that God has given me. On August the 17th, I had a dream. And when I woke up, there was like an impartation. God spoke to me and he said, he told me three things. He said, we're in a season of rapid change. And so when we look up the definition of change, it means the act or instance of making or becoming different. It means a new or refreshingly different experience. It means to alter, adapt, amend, modify, transfigure, to give something up in exchange for something else. And so in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 8, the Word of God says, And we all with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. And Isaiah 43, 18 says, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And so um, Daniel 2, 20 through 21 says that God changes times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding and see God institutes change and God will God wants to release changes in your life when your old season is finished and he's trying to get you into a new season people and relationships can be seasonal places and assignments can be seasonal you can have a seasonal assignment on your way to a permanent assignment you can go through transitions in relationships changes in relationships but see change divine change should be embraced why because when you embrace divine change when you allow God to transform you you're literally growing and developing from one level of glory to another level of glory because see we walk on the earth but we are called we're, we're citizens of heaven so we're called to walk in the glory of God and to manifest the glory of God upon this earth and so Philippians 3 20 and 21 says for our citizenship is in heaven from which also we eagerly await for a savior the Lord Jesus Christ who will transform the body of our humble state um, into the conformity with his body by glory by the exertion of power that he has even to subject all things to himself and when we look at Esther Esther had to go through transformation to become a queen she was a village girl she had come out of uh, a humble place and when she soaked in the oil for 12 months she was literally being transformed and see God wants to transform us continually from one level of glory to a higher level of glory and glory is defined as beauty magnificence renown uh, exaltation peace and joy and even though we're on the earth, God has called us as citizens of heaven 
to allow him, to surrender to him, to give him permission to change us from one level of glory to another level of glory. God wants you to stay in a place of continual transformation. So change will always be necessary in your life and the greater the assignment and the purpose that God has for you, the more flexible and open to change you will need to be. And everything that you've been through has prepared, pruned, and processed you for the next level. And even Abraham. Abraham was already wealthy when God called him out. But God said, I've got a higher purpose. I've got a higher assignment for you. And so in Hebrews 11, 8, it says, By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And so he went out not knowing where he was going. God never wants you to get to a place where you become content and stagnant. So receive the divine change. Receive divine transformation. Say, Lord, I surrender to you and I allow you to transform me to a higher level of glory in Jesus' name. The second thing that God is doing in this hour is acceleration. He wants to bring you to a state of acceleration. And in the dictionary, acceleration means to gain speed within a short period of time. But God took me to look at it from the perspective of the law of physics because it means something different when you look at it in the law of physics. Because to understand it, in terms of physics, you have to look at velocity and acceleration. And so velocity is a term that refers to the rate at which an object changes position. In other words, uh, if a person is taking one step forward but taking a step back, they're not really moving, so there's no velocity. A great example I can think of is like a treadmill. If a person's on a treadmill, they can be running or walking, and they're moving, but they're not changing position. They're staying on that treadmill. And so that there's no velocity there. The second uh, aspect of defining what acceleration means in physics is to consider that velocity is direction aware. And so speed on the other hand has a different meaning because acceleration in physics is defined as the rate at which an object changes its velocity so an object is only accelerating if it's if it's going somewhere so acceleration means speed but when you look at it in terms of physics it also means that you're going in a specific direction because you can be moving, you can be accelerating and going at a fast speed, but not be going anywhere. So, like the example that I gave with the treadmill. And see, see God doesn't want you just to, to be a flash in, in, in the pan, so to speak, and to jump out there and to do something quickly and then it not come to fruition. Because if a person is out there just jumping into things and jumping into things quickly, but it's not going in a specific direction that's making progress, then you don't have acceleration. So acceleration is more than just movement. It's steady and precise direction. It's consistent and accurate progress. So if you move in a direction but you fall back, you're not accelerating. And so what matters, like if a car, if a car is going 55 miles an hour, that's the speed, but if it's moving east, that's the velocity. And you gotta have both. You gotta have more than just speed. You gotta be moving in the right direction. So what matters is that the car is moving in a specific direction. And so God wants you to link to him and hear his voice and connect to him so that he can give you clear direction so that you 
you will be moving in acceleration, which means you're gonna be moving at the right speed, and which also moves, means that you're gonna be moving in the right direction. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And Psalms 147, 14 says that God sends his command throughout the earth and his word runs swiftly. Isaiah 62 says that I am the Lord when the time is right, I will do this swiftly. Jeremiah 49, 22 says, look up and he will rise swiftly like an eagle. Luke 18, 8 says, I tell you that he will swiftly grant them justice. So we see in these scriptures that swiftness occurs when you line up with the word of God because God's word is like a hammer that breaks the rocks into pieces. We see that we will rise up swiftly when we fly like an eagle. And God has called me to raise up eagles and eagles represent the Holy Spirit. Eagles represent the prophetic. So when you align yourself with the prophetic, when you align yourself with the Holy Spirit, you will be able to move swiftly. You will be able to move with acceleration because you will be moving in the right direction. So God wants to give you direction in this hour. He wants to tell you where to move and he wants to open divine doors for you. There are divine doors all around you. Do you see it? Will you perceive it? Because your blessing is on the other side of a door that God is setting in front of you that you need to walk through. And so I prophesy, decree, declare, and pray for you that you will discern the right doors so that you will go in the right direction so that you won't just be moving quickly, but you will be moving in acceleration because you will be moving with uh, velocity, which means you'll be moving in the right direction. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. The third thing that God is gonna do in this hour is he's releasing divine justice. Divine justice is means just behavior or treatment. In the Bible, it means to make it right. And Romans 12, 9 says, Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Isaiah 30, 18 says, For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait on him. Isaiah 61, 8 says, I, the Lord, love justice. I will faithfully give them rep recompense and make an everlasting covenant with him. God is going to deal with those who have mishandled you, with those who have displeased him because of their behavior towards you, and then God is restoring your mistakes. Because, see, divine justice cuts both ways. Divine justice means that God is going to deal with those who've done you wrong, but it also means that God is going to show you mercy for your mistakes and for what you have when you've gotten off track. And so God is restoring your, you from your mistakes. He's recompensing you from mistreatment from others. And God spoke to me. He said, stay on track and you will see God's glory in your life so stay on track seek god's direction surrender to him yield to him and obey him and so i'm going to give you an opportunity to sow a seed into this anointing it is a to sow a seed if you need change acceleration or divine justice in any area and you need god to move for you within 60 days you can sow an 80 dollars seed for a prophetic coaching call with me for one hour, or you can sow $60.22 in alignment with Isaiah 62.22, or you can sow a seed of $30.18 in accordance with Isaiah 30.18. Go to Prophet Dana Reese on PayPal or Prophet Dana Reese on Cash App and sow. I love you. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.